I know, that, that's, I know that's a, the, the words it of is. an extremist because what we've done here so far is we have talked about individual liberties, we have talked about state rights, and today we're going to talk about making the world a better place. So you know, those three things are now classified by the Pentagon as signs that you are an extremist. Talk of individual, I'm quoting, now this is from a a uh, defense equal opportunity management issue um, institute, a defense department funded diversity training center. So this is a um, uh, this is a, uh, a a book that goes to train our soldiers and those who work at the Pentagon. How do you recognize an extremist in today's America? An extremist is a person who advocates the use of force or violence, advocates supremacist causes based on race, ethnic, ethnicity, religion, gender, national organized, uh, or um, an origin, or otherwise engages in um, uh, in activities to illegally deprive individuals or groups of their civil rights. I think we can all agree with that, mm-hmm. don't you? Mm-hmm. Nowadays, instead of dressing in sheets or publicly espousing hate messages, many extremists will talk of Individual liberties, state rights, and how to make the world a better place. (laughs) Absolutely unbelievable. If you talk about making the world a better place, you are probably an extremist. Under It's going to get uh, worse. Um, under the section labeled extremist ideologies, the document states in U.S. history, there are many examples of extremist ideologies and movements. The colonists who sought to free themselves from British rule and the Confederate states who sought to secede from the northern states are just two examples. So our founders <laughs> are, are the same founders, as the rebels. Right. Yeah. And our founders are the same as the Muslim Brotherhood? No, they're not saying that because the Muslim Brotherhood is not extremist. Our founders were extremist, but the Muslim Brotherhood is not extremist. It is truly amazing what is happening and anywhere in this is there um yeah there's no discussion of islamic extremism in this no they they say that 9-11 is a historic event is a historic event that's how it's been uh labeled a historic event and our founders are extremists and if you talk about individual rights state rights or uh making the world a better place you could be an extremist which brings us to um missouri that is exactly what Missouri said when this president first got in. And then they had to apologize for it. They said they pulled it out. And then, if I'm not mistaken, they put it back in when none of us were watching. Now it's part of our lesson plan at the Pentagon. Sponsor this half hour. 